Hey guys, so today I want to give an updated review on my uh, Flash Forge 3D printer. In my opinion, one of the best printers you can buy online for the price and quality. Um, I originally bought this one year ago, and it uh, came out in 2015. Um, nothing but great reviews, so, you know, it's been nothing but great for a year, so I really wanted to leave an updated review. And uh, three things I really like about this printer. Uh, first of all, the ease of use the quality and the software so right out of the box this thing is really really easy to use it's basically just plug and play um, load up the software and load your STL or OBJ files <coughs> um, for me I use Tinkercad and Thingiverse to uh, you know get some customized prints going uh, mostly use it for my business I print anything from mechanical parts to uh, you know soap dishes lamp finials screws uh, name plates, decorative items, you know, random stuff like that. And you can print really anything, so it's uh, really great, definitely recommend it. And another great thing about like it has Wi-Fi, so you can, it doesn't have to be right next to your computer, it is kind of loud, I mean, it's not that loud, it's it's pretty decent, <coughs> you can tell by the video. Um, but it's nice to have a different room, because you can be printing for a while, you know, depending on uh, the quality of your print. And you can do like, you know, standard high or whatever. So, you know, it's nice to have a different room, so that's really great. So, like I was saying, the quality of these prints, really, really, really great. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that um, this thing barely requires any maintenance. I've had it for a year, really no maintenance. The only thing is the filament. Changing the filament is annoying sometimes. Um, for those of you who have it, um, you know, you just got to make sure to uh, press the, um, the filament down all the way before you press the release button. Otherwise, it just get <coughs> caught. Kind of annoying. Uh, but, you know, other than that, really no maintenance issues at all. I do use a brass uh, scrubber uh, to, uh, st uh, like, like a, it's like a toothbrush to uh, to scrub the, uh, the the nozzle off of any residue, which is, you know, okay. And then I use a, um, this guy right here, it's a filament remover. It's, a, I mean, pr print remover thingy. It's, it's pretty good because, uh, you know, a lot of times it will get stuck on the uh, 3D print bed, um, especially at the beginning. Uh, later on, I start using glue because, you know, uh, in case I don't want it to buckle on the sides, so that, that's kind of annoying. So I definitely use glue um, and then, you know, a 3D filament remover to get your plate off there. <coughs> anyway, so, um, like I want to talk about, the quality is really great. I've had nothing but good prints. Uh, mostly you print on standard. You can choose, you know, low, standard, high, uh, like super high, or whatever it's called. But I mostly print on standard and they come out really great don't take much time so that's that's pretty good and um, the uh, the software is, is like I, I really like it so you can basically do anything one thing I, I particularly like is you can uh, maximize your your uh, pro, your uh, print to uh, fit the print bed so you just, just like a maximize button and you just like press it and it just maximizes your uh, print bed and you can you know scale your item uh, scale your your print change the dimensions rotate all that good stuff. One of the things I just uh, found out uh, a couple months ago is you can just load up JPEG images and it converts them to 3D prints right away, and it's, it's really nice. You print them out, it comes out like one of those um, one of those oil paintings, kind of you know, like the French ones. And it's uh, it's really great. So that's what I really like about this printer, guys. Definitely check it out. It's really great. And uh, let me know. Thanks.